Hey everybody, it's your pop music hip hop maven over here, Michael Knowles. There is a new song that has dropped and I know so many of you love my friend Tom McDonald. But when I heard about this song, I found out not only is it a Tom McDonald song, but it features another friend of mine, Mr. John Rich. So I'm gonna try to be impartial, put all of my affection for these gentlemen aside, and give you my highly perceptive, modern, cool guy, young Zoomer music. Take. Take it away. I know the end is near, the television telling lies. I know for sure the revolution won't be televised. I know that we've been waiting patiently for better times. We fell asleep and men are blind, can't recognize it's genocide. Feel like the bomb about to drop out of the clouds. Another virus going airborne, go hide inside your house. Farmers watching crops die, they drying up with droughts. Angry people forming crowds and trying to burn the cities down. This is Armageddon, martial law for our protection. I talked to God, but it's long distance and I lost reception. Forest fires and oil spills are the awful lessons. I'm just waiting for the devil to take over heaven. This is biblical, I swear it's in the Bible We keep killing one another and we dying for survival We used to fight for peace, we put our flowers in their rifles Now we're about to be extinct, every man, woman, and child Put a pause there, that's kind of interesting Just as a almost minor political observation He's talking about bigger themes, but a minor political observation here is He's pointing out that the people who used to protest for war Or rather, the people who used to protest against war Are now protesting for war it's all those hippy-dippy flower children who put the little flowers in the rifles. They're the ones now who have the <laughs> Ukraine flag in their bios. They're the ones who are, who are clamoring for more U.S. intervention abroad. And it's all those crazy old conservatives who are saying, hey, maybe we should stop being involved in so many wars around the world and we should focus our attention home. And the reason for that, of course, is that the political order used to be dominated by more conservative-minded people. And in the latter half of the 20th century, it shifted and the liberals took over the establishment. So uh, Roger Kimball refers to this in academia as tenured radicals, that the hippie radical students came to take over the university. Well, it's true of the whole political order. All the libs who used to protest against the man, well now they are the man. If it's the end of the world, I know that I have lived my life to the fullest, yeah, the fullest. We stood on top of mountains, we've been to space before. We had our dogs and houses, we dug up dinosaurs. We built those bombs are dropping, we fought in all their wars. Now that the sky's falling, what did we do? Pause there. So the verses are a little bit different, or those two stanzas rather. The first one says, if it's the end of the world, I'll do better next time. Oh yeah, I know it. Yeah, I know it. If it's the end of the world, I know that I've lived my life to the fullest. Yeah, the fullest. So I've done it. If it's the end of the world. And even these images of not just the bombs dropping, but UFOs, <laughs> E.T. flying in. It's a, it reminds me of another rock song, End of the Line by the Traveling Wilburys, where uh, Jeff Lynne, when he's singing his verse, he says, Every day is judgment day, well, it's all right. And I, I love that line, every day is judgment day, because death comes as a thief in the night. And you, you never know the time or the hour. And so you, you don't need to see E.T. flying in the sky or nuclear bombs dropping to know that at some point your world is going to come to an end at least. And so have you lived life to the, to the fullest? Have you lived the right way? And then there's this ambivalence in the second in the second part, we stood on top of mountains. Yeah, we did it. We've been to space before. Yeah, we did it. We had our dogs in houses. Yeah, we did. that's true. That's how it used to be. Now the dogs are in our houses. Now we're in the dog house. The dogs are living in our, in our homes. We dug up dinosaurs. Yeah, that's cool. We built the bombs they're dropping. Hmm. Well, it's, it's impressive that we built the bombs, but wait a second. Now that progress, as we perceived of it, is actually harming us and threatening us and destroying our world. We fought in all their wars. Who's they? I guess the, it's the political order. It's the, the, the elites, the people who are running the show. We fought in all of their wars and we thought it was for us, but then he says, but the sky's falling now. Not only in spite of the things that we did, but in, in part at least because of the things that we did. So what did we do it for? Feels like the end is near, our freedom's disappearing. Uh, 
People playing God, call it genetic engineering. Uh, media misleading us and evil's interfering. While the government we need became the power that we're fearing. Our billionaires are going to space, don't blame them for leaving. Birds are falling out the air, fish washing up on our beaches. This is end times, humans got a deadline. Children are the future till we ruin them with headlines. Should we pass their bedtime, but everyone's woke. They told us chase a dollar that made everyone broke. I feel like cryptocurrency is probably our last financial hope. Soon enough, the government will leave your bank account froze. Judgment day is coming. You can run or you can stand and fight. Panic in the dark or lead rebellions by the candlelight. This ain't your granddaddy's planet Earth. It's black and white. The end is coming. I'll see y'all in the afterlife. Put a pause there. You see, he's, he's seeing his freedom slip away. And it sounds just like a meaningless platitude at the top. Our freedoms are slipping away. Yeah, people are always complaining about their freedom slipping away. But then he cites these specific examples. He says... Birds are falling out of the air, F fish are washing up on our beaches. So it's not just our freedom to have our guns and our money and our whatever, our gas stoves. It's even the freedom to have clean air, the freedom to have a normal society. That's going away, certainly. It's the end time. We got a deadline. Children are the future till we ruin them with headlines. And now the kids are, have these really high rates of anxiety and depression and suicidality and social media is playing a huge role in this and we're not having children anyway. They told us chase the dollar but then then they're gonna freeze us out of the financial system. So he's even saying even this really basic understanding of freedom which is I'm gonna keep my money you better not take my money and my stuff. Freedom to make some money with our labor. Even that can all just be taken away like this because the the political order now is so centralized that if you get canceled then it's not only in China where your social credit score will drop and you'll be kicked out of society. It's here in the United States. You'll be deplatformed. You'll be debanked. You'll be prohibited from traveling. You'll be put on a no-fly list. You're, you're, there's no escaping it. There's no go west, young man. This is it. There's no west left. We settled the west. This is the end time. Keep going. End of the world, I will do better next time. If it's the end of the world, I know that I have lived my life to the fullest. Yeah, the fullest. Put a pause. I just, I love that scene. S selling the tinfoil for $500. Because, you know, these days the difference between a conspiracy theory and the truth is about three to six months. And that tinfoil, the price is going to go up. The markets are going crazy on all sorts of commodities and metals and... I think tin is going to see a real surge at the end of days. Okay, keep going. We stood on top of mountains. We've been to space before. We had our dogs and houses. We dug up dinosaurs. We built those bombs are dropping. We fought in all their wars. Now that the sky's falling, what did we do? It? It's the end of the world as we know it. It's awful <laughs> that it's over. So you see the classic rebellion of Tom, and Tom looks like a young, doesn't, doesn't look the most conservative, let's say, with all the tattoos and everything. And what's his response to this, to the people who are going to come kill him and take away his way of life? It's to flip him the bird. And then you turn to John Rich, who looks extremely conservative in the American understanding. He's got the big cowboy hat, he's got his guitar, he's a country boy, and what does he do? He takes a rock and throws it at that UFO, and the UFO starts to tip around. He says, you know, it's the end of days, okay, it's all closing in, but I don't need to assent to that. You can take away all my freedoms, but you can't take away my freedom of conscience. You can't take away the freedom of my mind. And so you can kill me, okay, fine, but I'm not going to agree to it. I'm not going to just roll over. There's a story, it may be apocryphal, it may not, of uh, an opera singer in uh, Nazi Germany who didn't want to perform when the Nazis were, were at her show. And some Nazi representative goes backstage and said, we will make you sing. Go on stage, we will make you sing. And she said, you can make me scream, but you cannot make me sing. And so I, you can't take away that, that ultimate freedom that I have for myself. And Tom and John both saying the same thing to the aliens. While we look down at our phones, they'll drop a bomb from a drone, then an explosion. We should have known it. We stood on top of mountains. 
you. It's, this isn't just an expression of resentment. What did we do it for? It was all for naught. I think it's a sincere question. Well, yeah, what did we do it for? Because some of that stuff sounds pretty good. Did we do it for the political rulers who turned on us? I hope that's not the only reason that we've explored things and climbed mountains and used our reason, dug up dinosaurs, reasoned about the world, had our homes, had our dogs defended our, I hope that's, I hope there's something deeper. Is it because we love our fellow citizens, we love our family, we love God, we love the good? I, what did we do it for? I know we did it, and I think there was a reason we did it, but the reason wasn't just to appease these terrible people who very often control the political order. I like that, I really like it. Fabulous. I, I love the whole way the video is shot and excellent performances from both Tom and John. And really, it does get, it's a very funny song and a funny video, and it's supposed to be funny and weird. And it's got cows being beamed up onto spaceships and, you know, people flipping off aliens and stuff. So it's, it's very funny, but it's thought provoking. It's a, it's a more complicated song than, than you might think, given the, how common the first few lines are. I think that's kind of a way to lull you in. To, to have you think more deeply. It's a, very, it's a tricky song. All right, that's it. We'll see you next time. If it's the end of the world.